Can you sell your undivided interest in land? Hi, I'm Philip Hundle and I'm an attorney. My law practice focuses on representing landowners in condemnation proceedings and, and partition proceedings. Uh, so let's talk about, you know, partition proceedings and uh, you may have acquired an undivided interest by gift or, or uh, inheritance and you're asking yourself, what do I do now? Uh, with this undivided interest and, you know, one of the other co-tenants may be using the property or the property uh, may be already leased and you're wondering, what do I do with this undivided interest? So um, you can seek partition or you can attempt to partition by agreement. That's always really the first option or first step I always recommend is if, if there can be an agreement on how to partition, wonderful. If not, then you're going to need to seek court assistance uh, by filing a petition for partition uh, with an attorney that's familiar with partition proceeding. Uh, in my experience, the court is going to, uh, if it's, if it's a, a significant amount of property, uh, the court's going to say that it can be partitioned in kind or, or divided up amongst the co-owners and each co-owner or, or each group of co-owners, if they want to stay together, will get a, a particular piece of land. And, and I go into that partition proceeding or process uh, in another video and also have a step-by-step a, a, a -step, uh, partition uh, uh, format or form on my blog. So please take a look at that. Um, and that'll be helpful in kind of explaining the whole process and all the steps. Uh, the only time a court will, in my, in my experience, uh, order the property sold is if it's a house on a lot and there's multiple owners, uh, and there's really no way to divide it up. So it would be ordered, sold, the money divided, and that's a partition by sale. So, um, you know, a, the partition proceeding can be lengthy. It can be expensive. It, it just depends on how far through the process a person has to go to, to get a partition, uh, accomplished. And so uh, another option could be that selling their undivided interest. Now, there's some things that you have to take into account or remember is that undivided interest that you own is probably going to be discounted by the buyer. Why? Because uh, if you sell your undivided interest to the buyer, they, then they, you know, in, in other words, inherit your problem of having to go through the partition process, uh, which can be lengthy, costly for them. And so, um, rightly so, they're going to be seeking or, or asking for a discount. Uh, and a lot of that just depends on the property, the situation. Uh, so, also another factor for the buyer, and this is something I think uh, sellers need to remember, is uh, it's going to be extremely difficult for that buyer to find financing because lenders uh, don't like uh, lending money on uh, collateral that's an undivided interest. So. All those things need to be taken into consideration, but yes, uh, I have had clients, uh, you know, ha sell their undivided interest. Uh, it's something we, from time to time, will will work with clients on. So, uh, hopefully, this is helpful uh, if this is a situation you face. So, good luck.